She tips the scales around 8,800 pounds. Thing is though, I don't remember the 30 RLS Cougar here at Halet RV being quite this good. I, I love this thing. I don't know if it's just the decor updates or if it's all the little kind of touches that they keep putting into these Cougars, but man, I'm a fan. Uh, it gives us the big living room with something like a Montana, but with a more compact front end that is going to be ideal. Like if you're going to be a three quarter ton tower and goer, this is a model that will work for you. It does carry the same full-time RVing warranty as something big like a Montana, the same hot, cold camping package. It is a smart RV, big living space, great storage, just not 45 feet long and 13,000 pounds. There's a lot of good to be had here. We've got solar prep, inverter prep, automatic leveling. What more do you want? And again, the whole idea behind this RV is to give us the biggest living room possible in the smallest total length possible. If you're looking for something like a full bed slide, we got that in spades here at Haylet RV. We have things, uh, you know, like the 316 Cougar. If you like this living room, but you need a bed slide or a bigger bathroom, look at the 316 Cougar. I think you're really going to like what you see. Each floor plan has its own little character nuance. Now you saw in our flyby flash footage earlier, all of these windows open for airflow, but We've also got some serious blackout shades, and they actually do extend down further past the window, so if you really want to make sure you blot the sun out, you can. You can see how that theater seat is on the most easy viewing position, and keeping your toes warm, we have ourselves a 5,000 plus BTU electric space heater. But, you don't only have to sit on the theater seat for good viewing angles. For instance, if you take note, that TV can pivot out, and you could face it toward the dining, the kitchen, the whatever. You also notice how we have a trifold hide bed sleeper sofa back here. This is a great couples camper, but it also has some good capacity for guests. Both side stands are nice and large. It's a two adult seating sofa, I think. Not a three like some, but that means it has larger side stands. Both side stands also have their own uh, kind of easy reach outlets, which means this is very easily a CPAP friendly guest sleeper. Now you might be wondering, what is that switch doing? Well, this RV has in command, but you don't have to walk over all the way to the entry door where that touchpad is located to be able to activate that thing. There's dedicated living room light switch back here, dedicated bedroom light switch up front, or you could use your phone or the touchpad. Whatever. There's lights all over the place in this thing. Obviously, it lights up like a Christmas tree. Now that up there, Cougars have a standard 15,000 BTU Coleman quieter air conditioner in their living room spaces. Uh, we will often but not always outfit this floor plan with a second air conditioner. Now Cougar has an excellent hot climate camp package. Frankly, arguably one of the best I've ever seen, uh, especially in this class. They're the, uh, actually, and they rate themselves up to a higher temperature than most brands. They do more testing in that regard. Uh, so if you're here around the Midwest, the one air will probably do you fine. If you're gonna go south, southwest, You'll want to give us a call, make sure we got a second air RV, or keep in mind these are all 50 amp. We can always throw a second air conditioner on them for you. That's not a problem. And folks, <laughs> what they've done over here with the dining table, standard in this floor plan is a booth. But this new, no knee knocking table they've done, my new favorite. Because as a long legged person, uh, <laughs> I tell you, I don't enjoy air travel as a result. Of course, I don't spring for good seats either because I'm kind of a, you know, penny pincher that way. But this is very similar to like a full Monty, big Montana dining table. There's nothing that's really going to crack your knees and it is heavy duty. It's not going anywhere. It fits four adults. And by the way, that is not carpet. These are completely carpetless. From there, look over here at our kitchen. And this is where the new decor in these Cougars just really kind of punches you in the face. Now, it is obviously very similar to something like the, the Jayco modern farmhouse decor, but Cougar has done it a little bit differently. They don't fully distress everything. They will do some distressing on the cabinet doors, but not everywhere. And if this isn't quite your thing, don't worry about it. What you can do 
Give us a call here at Halid RV and see what kind of, say, Arctic Wolf RVs we have in stock. Or ask if we have a, a, a Jayco Eagle 30.5 CKTS in the uh, brown decor. Because that is something that we stock here. Now this kitchen, again, trying to rival a Montana in a lot of ways. And I actually want to start with it all the way back here. And I want to start up here for a few reasons. One of the main ones is which you see that all the flip-up overhead cabinet doors in here are strutted, so you don't have to juggle them open with your noggin. Which, back when I had hair, wasn't a big deal. I've learned once you start losing your hair, you start scuffing up and scabbing up your head quite a bit when you do stuff like that. Now, you've got some cool kind of pantry tainment storage behind that serious swing-out television. But when we slip over here, you see we've got a sweet, dedicated pantry. And if you're looking inside on the walls, you see how all of these shelves are either completely removable or like fully adjustable from floor to ceiling. A lot of manufacturers, they'll give you a shelf you can remove, but they won't spring for the extra couple bucks to get you the little adjustment shelving knob things right there. So those little differences that I think set this one apart. Now last year, when the only option here was the eight cubic foot two-way fridge, this, it, for such a big camper, the fridge felt lacking. But now that we have the ability to outfit these like you see here with the larger 12-volt DC compressor fridge, this RV, especially with the decor updates, it just looks and feels right. It feels so complete, you know? I would like some feedback on this, though. Tell me what you think about this. Because... I, the kitchen space here, I think you're going to please half of people and you're going to cheese half of people. What I mean by that, you've got that big cabinet up there in the top corner of the slide out. You've got some great prep space right there. And if there's dedicated counter space, Cougar puts these nice big drawers in there. Now, what I want to know is, do you like this? Or what do you think of if this was like a symmetrical kitchen where the stove and the microwave were mounted in the middle, but that would mean smaller cabinets on either side, and then you probably wouldn't get drawers. You might get a couple cabinet doors down here that would be smaller. I like what they're doing here because I like the big space and the big drawers. Also, that, uh, that corner outlet over there, by the way, is inverter prepped. Should you choose to add an inverter to this RV, that's one of three yeah cougars have three outlets that would be uh live wired to that inverter this is by the way all pocket screwed what i call better still cabinetry where it is a full wood core no mdf particle board used whatsoever and it is pocket screwed like i said guys and gals y'all i'll say y'all for some of our folks south of the mason dixon line there which by the way yankee folks like me up here in pepsi country that is spelled y apostrophe a l l just so that we're all on the same page uh, <laughs> this is, uh, this is something made for jet setting, zip zapping around. But what we haven't seen so far is the island storage. Now, as I'm getting myself into position here, a little bit of filler time, Hollywood magic. <laughs> I want to point out that we have more outlets. We also have all sealed edge countertops. All of the countertops in this, whether it's the bathroom, the kitchen, the whatever, they're that kind of pressed membrane material so that water can't seep into the core of the countertop. Unless you obviously damage it, and, you know, that's a different story. Now, over here on the island, what you haven't really seen so far is, like, normal kitchen drawers. They are located right here on the island, on a little bit of an asymmetrical island. They, the sink is not dead in the middle of it, and that means that you have more of that drawer space. Kind of like the same conversation that we were having uh, with the symmetrical kitchen setup. Sometimes a little bit of asymmetry can have some benefit. And holy cow... You could have yourself not just a wastebasket, you could have an entire dumpster down under this thing. That is a big cat. I could hide under that thing for hide and seek. You know what? I'm going to test it. Check this out. Okay, so I was wrong. But I do still maintain that it is a big space. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go see a chiropractor. Up in the bathroom, you see a nice, deep, dedicated linen cabinet next to a, a very generously sized shower. Since this is a one-entry bed and bath, that gives them the opportunity for a bigger shower. Awesome legroom for that porcelain foot flush stool. And with a six and a half foot tall upper deck, I can always stand in the shower of a cougar, no problem. That's something that as a taller person, 
I generally enjoy. Uh, now, also, I like the little detail, the way that they've left the shower door transparent and then given the wall paneling itself some kind of uh, pattern. It just, it makes the bathroom look and feel larger to me. Now, just like in the kitchen, we have ourselves sealed countertops here with a nice big adult size two-hand kind of sink. But down below, taking another note out of the Montana book, some great bathroom storage space for not just towels, but like combs and brushes and those things that I used to need before I was balding. I ain't gonna lie though, I don't miss my hair at all. The, the first day that I woke up without hair after I had it all buzzed off, I was a little bit late for work, and I put on my pants and my shirt and my shoes, and went, oh, I, I guess I'm ready. That's it. It was easy. I love it. Now, remember as we enter the bedroom, the one that we're looking at today does not have a second air conditioner. That is not to say that we don't have one of these in stock with a second air conditioner at Halet RV. Like I said, we tend to build them about 50-50. Uh, we've got our easy walk-around queen bed up here, uh, and... This is like super symmetrical and CPAP friendly. You've got household and USB plugs on both sides. And note those individual lamps, like full on normal lights, not the blue light. Some people say can disturb your sleep. You know, it doesn't bother me. I get that it bothers some people. I totally respect that. Well, obviously Cougar does too. They don't do uh, disco blue lights in their campers. Now that uh, left hand household outlet that we're looking at over there, that is inverter prep, similar to what we saw in the uh, kitchen area. What is it? It's the kitchen, the bedroom, and I think the TV are hooked up to the Cougar OTG off the grid package. I got to double check that. If you're curious, give me a shout, drop us a note, ask our team. We'll make sure. We'll verify, guys. Now, while we're looking at this stuff, that is not a hanging closet on either side of the bed. It's just there for storage, like the full overhead cabinet space. Instead, you're going to get a big amount of hanging closet space here. And there's no dividers inside of that, so you can really pack that sucker full. They just give you three doors to make it easy to access. I like the mirrors on the front of that, too. It makes the room look and feel larger. They're also including some dedicated dresser space here, which I really like, which also creates a shelf, which is, in and of itself, an additional storage space. Now, before I pivot, a quick note, yes, there are TV hookups across from the bed. If I don't point them out, somebody always wants to say, oh, that's where they went cheap. They didn't put a TV hookup in the bedroom. No, nothing of the sort. <laughs> the plywood decking is also easy lift there below the mattress, which uh, opens up basically like a storage chest right here. And as long as I have that up, easy to kind of see, you've got little kind of side storage boxes under those side stands on both sides of the bed. And then, of course, you have this just ginormous window over here overlooking your campsite. So if you want to wake up and see like, hey, what was that sound? What is going on? Uh, you know, you can see, wow, it is, the camera's like, no, I want to leave everything totally, totally white. There we go. Man, now we're, now we're cooking with fire just in time to close the slides. And before we step outside at Halet RV, we always like to give you a look at this thing with the slide closed. And you see, you can still utilize the bed fully here, which is one of those things that sometimes not every fifth wheel will allow you to do. Now, obviously with no slides interfering with the bed uh, or bathroom access, we can get in here. I do want to point out though, when you're traveling, this is actually the side of the camper or well, the side of the shower that the door should be on because that is actually where the latch is located. When we were in our main RV tour, you may have noticed that I had the door slid over to the side. If I leave it like this, people look at it and say, well, there's no way I could squeeze my backside through there. Well, again, <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> now, there's a little bit of a trick. This is best used as a destination floor plan, and there's nothing wrong with that. Different RVs have different benefits and different drawbacks. This one gives us that big, giant, almost Montana size and feeling uh, living room space, uh, but it does so at way less weight and money. The trick is, when you close it up, you do lose access to pretty much anything back here. So this is an RV that's going to be very good for people who don't plan a lot of travel stops. And if you do need to stop, as long as you're a little smart about it, if you leave yourself about an extra foot or two on the driver's side of the RV, you could open the kitchen slide, which is more than enough to be able to get through everything over here. Ooh, we got Mr. Mike climbing that ladder in the back doing some quality control. Little kind of, you know, movie magic fact for you. When I'm recording these video segments, I very rarely record a video from start to finish. I'm usually doing all these little bits out of order, and then I gotta try to piece it back together for you. A lot of people don't realize that until you start noticing the weather changing quite a bit. 
And once again, what we're seeing here is big fifth wheel features in a more compact total size, length, weight, and price category. Dual power awnings, uh, both of which of course have LED lighting, they're easy tilt, and you can operate them both via the in-command system if you feel like it, to make it like remote controlled. The entry door is anti-slam and you see those easy set step above Moride stable steps over here. That is the fully removable variety. So if you're ever in a situation where you can't fold the steps down because they might hit something, you can take the steps off, slide them in that position right there and then pin them back in place. It's very simple and easy. Uh, it's less involved than tying your shoes, which, you know, my, my parents will tell you I struggled with as a child. <laughs> <laughs> now that I said that as a joke, but it's honestly kind of true. I wore Velcro shoes for a long time. I was just, I just didn't feel like learning how to tie my shoes. <laughs> Anybody else? Anyway, uh, motion lighting. You'll see another motion light in the little docking station. TV hookups. That's the brain center for the in command there. And as we're backing up, I do want to point out the, the just heavy use of the aluminum structure in here. But cool thing with in command is uh, there is a physical switch down there where you can select what motors you want to operate. So if you want to be able to open or close slides, awnings, uh, operate your jack systems, you don't have to go inside. You don't have to use the touchpad or your phone. And it always gives you like a nice little safety net backup. Now, a couple things that we'll see here, again, kind of in, uh, in common with a big Montana fifth wheel, are the road armor, pin box, and suspension systems. Remember, I said that this is a great RV for towing and going. And if you're thinking, I wanna do some full-time RVing, I wanna spend a lot of time on the road, I wanna be traveling a lot, this is an RV that is built for that kind of use and intention. It is custom combed for people exactly like you. There's a couple cool structural things they're doing here. You can see how they're not pre-cracking their fiberglass on the Cougars. They got away from doing that. They bulked up their structure. Another nice thing they're doing, if I get right down here, you see how there's under the nose cap, there's that smooth radius line. It's not a jagged cornered line right there. That is an indication that that is a stronger one piece radius beam on the front of the chassis, not a cut and re-welded chassis, which is okay. It's just that this will flex and stress less. This is hot, cold camp rated 0 to 110 degrees, actually. Most RVs only test up to 100. Cougar's thicker 2-inch walls probably help them in that regard, not to mention the radiant barrier package, the bright skin on the roof and the sidewalls, obviously, and the um, uh, good hot, cold camp package they have like with the 12-volt tank heaters and the heated belly and all that good stuff. Automatic leveling, standard. Roof solar and side solar prep, standard. Inverter prep, standard, baby. We'll take a brief climb up that ladder. I don't want to say trip. I've, I've almost said trip a few times in relation to ladders. That's just a bad combination of words, I think. <laughs> Down here, little sewer hose tube so that you don't have to have your black tank stuff with the rest of your stuff because nobody likes the stinky slinky. <laughs> I don't, apparently I feel like bursting into song. I've done that a few times today. Reverse travel safety lighting. Always a good feature. A lot of brands don't do anything like that. That's the white element inside the tail light. We've got ourselves a 300 pound rated accessory hitch back here. So if you do feel like uh, adding a little cargo pod or bike rack, or if you've got a, uh, a little generator you want to put on the back so that if you do have to stop over some night in like a parking lot, or you really want to go off grid and make sure you can keep everything running, perfect place to do it. And folks, I just can't say that any time we get all of those windows over here on the door side, I am, I'm so much happier. I, I, I vastly prefer windows over here. I'm sure a lot of folks do. What do you guys feel about this? Because there are sometimes manufacturers can't do it. Like the 27 RS Eagle has the same kind of living room, but it's flip-flopped. That's because it is shorter still. The RV does have to be a little bit longer, but you get these windows. Is it worth it to you? Let me know. Up here on the roof, we have an omnidirectional roof antenna that is upgradable to a Wi-Fi enabled system. That's something we can assist you with here at Halitz. You'll also see Cougars are good with the roof attic vents. That I think is one of the things that is helping them achieve that hotter temperature rating. Now we talk a lot in this industry about cold camping, cold camping. Fact is most of us are camping when it's hotter outside, it's scorching hot. And Cougars are, they're great for cold weather camping. They're just even better when it is a sizzler out there. Now I'm hungry. And as I mentioned, she is roof solar ready. Another thing here too, if you feel like adding some roof vent covers or something like that, that is just what I call easy screwdriver work. That is little stuff that we can do for you over there in our parts and service center before you ever take the RV home. 
So let me know what you think of her. Let me know a couple things that you like, and if there's one or two things you're curious about maybe I didn't answer or you'd like to see change, leave me some of that feedback too. Hit that subscribe button and follow along, and I do my best to answer every single comment that comes through this channel. Because folks, I really appreciate you guys. You're the ones that really make this channel possible. Things like taking video with the slides closed. That's your suggestions. I'm always doing the best I can to try to get to as many things as possible here. So if you appreciate that, give our family owned and operated facility here a call. I don't care where you live, they're on wheels. And we would love the opportunity to work with you. Because the thing is, if you live far away from Halet RV, the factory shipping out to that local dealership costs an arm and a leg. So if you want to save a mint, you can come collect your RV here directly from us. And you can actually still save a little bit by having us ship it out because aftermarket shipping runs a little bit less than factory shipping. You'd be amazed what we could do. All we need is that fair opportunity in return for our efforts here today. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Thank you very much.